Just do whatever you want. Just be whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. But we as human beings don't realize what makes you happy and what makes you respect yourself are not the same thing. It would make me very happy to eat whatever I want all day, every day, but it wouldn't actually help with my self-respect. Similarly, it would make you very happy to post whatever you want, do whatever you want, sleep with whoever you want in the moment. But you have to have a vision of how you see yourself in the future. And if you forget that vision, you will completely hammer at your own self-esteem and then they're not I don't I, just like I said men have been hijacked with pornography women have been hijacked with liberal values women have been hijacked with liberal values okay so why isn't it liberating because essentially everything that they're told is liberating is actually catering to the male preference. What are we told that is liberating? The only thing that we actually got them to do is we got women to start working. But, you know, I actually love working and there's nothing wrong with it. But essentially, it helps men. They don't no longer have to pay every bill. You now contribute to it. It helps companies as well. They, you, you get paid less than a man, but you still work just as hard. You get taxed, whatever it is. So it helps that. So, or, or they might be told that you can sleep around and you don't have to have kids you can just sleep around with as many men as you want and no one can judge you who does that benefit what woman benefits from that we the only the people that benefit are the men that are profiting from it even when you tell them that you can be that the shame of being a sex worker has disappeared no problem but who does it benefit you now have to contort your existence to a male preference because if you gain too much weight you're no longer going to get as many subs or if you lose too much weight you won't get as many subs so instead of being your own individual you have to think what do men like and that's what i have to be in order to get this liberating uh, uh, existence it's the least liberating existence that can ever be. If women are able to use promiscuity to get men, um, which is something that you said earlier, yeah, which they do. Yeah. Have we not given them a tool yeah. that they can use? But to they, it's given them a tool to access the men they don't want because we don't respect the men that we can manipulate through promiscuity. Because if I can manipulate you through my promiscuity, so can she, so can she, so can she. We, you are not a man of substance. So yes, I might be able to use and abuse you for a limited period, but in the long run, do I respect you? Do I want to be with you? Can, can I be myself with you? Can I really show you what my true intentions are or do I have to be a bit sneaky? I can't, can you guide me? Absolutely not. How can a man that I can manipulate sexually guide me in any area of life? I'll be like, shut up, you don't, you, I, I know how to manipulate you. How would you know what to tell me what to do? So yes, you can access men, men and you can access very, very, very successful men and get a very great life for yourself, but you can't access true intimacy and connection with those types of men because those men don't, don't want true intimacy and connection. Should people be able to choose for themselves or do you think that restrictions should be placed on people? Restrictions should always be placed on people, absolutely. As long as the person doing the restrictions has their best interest in mind. I think we, if, look, uh, one of the things I've been online and, you know, I get a lot of positive but, uh, and negative, but one of the positives I always get is sometimes they'll say to me, how do you know all of this? How do you know, and like, where did you figure this out? Or how come you're so traditional? Where do you get that? I don't necessarily think I'm traditional. I just always had parents that guided me. Now, if I didn't have that, of course, if I had this level of like, if I had a monopoly on the internet, of course I would use that for financial gains and I would just be, you know, in a, a private jet and doing all of these. But I had restrictions growing up. Now, what those restrictions led to, for me personally, and not for everybody, for me personally, what it meant is there was a cap on how much I can indulge in my own like desires. There's a, a cap to it because I would have parents that would kind of restrict me. So because my selfish desires were capped because of my restrictions, I then had to think outside of what just makes me happy in the moment. And I had to kind of find a different identity. So I think if we don't give people any restrictions, where would they draw the line? If I gave a man no, no restriction on what type of woman he wants, how do we know, where does it get to? If we give them complete, utter freedom, similarly, if you give women complete, utter freedom of what they want in out of life, most people will find that they need someone, they need something, even if it's not their parents, but somebody that loves them, that restricts them. They need some kind of guidance. Do you think people need restrictions or no? I think that restrictions are beyond critical, mm -hmm. that the sanity will come from time-tested restrictions, but I think people have to be free to choose yeah. to be morons. 
And so it's interesting. What I'm realizing is I think we have a core disagreement at the level of values. Yeah. So So what would be one restriction you think everyone should follow? What would be one law? that will lead to human flourishing? Or just in your opinion. Uh, if you want to get to human flourishing, you should restrict your diet massively. Okay, that's a good one. Um, I don't think it should be imposed top down, mm -hmm. and I think you should be allowed to eat or drink yourself to death, and if you want to shoot heroin until you die, yeah, yeah. go for it. Mm -hmm. um, it would not be what I advise, and I'd yeah. be very sad to see anybody I love make that decision. But as you were going, I, I wrote what I believe, which is give me liber liberty or give me death. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm such a '80s uh, American. It's but hilarious. I think you believe that because you naturally have self control. That is a big part of it for sure. But yeah. I also believe, again, North Star human flourishing. I don't think you can have human flourishing with authoritarian top down rule. Uh, yeah. um, so, but I think you can't have human flourishing with no restrictions. We both agree. Yeah. So now the question becomes not do we need restrictions. We both agree we need mm -hmm. restrictions. Mm -hmm. The question becomes. How do you get the restrictions? Mm -hmm. So Saudi Khan. Well, I, I'm going to be biased with that. You Please? know, well, I'm religious, so it's always going to come from what I believe is like sent by God. Because only, in my in my personal opinion, only um, God has our long term plan in mind and our actually cares about our you know well being. Everybody else is you know motivated by either money or power or something status. Whereas for, so for me, I'm going to give a very boring answer and it's not very interesting but for me like I said I think I mentioned last time I was just very lucky that my, my perspective and this is something my partner finds a bit like he thinks I'm just a bit too gullible but I'm very lucky that every restriction that's placed on me through religion even though I might not follow it like for example I don't cover my hair I still agree with everything